Welcome back, everybody. Of course, what else would I be doing but working on the cathedral here? Just doing the normal stuff. So it's sticking with my zombie theme. Yeah, that comes out pretty good. I mean, it's not exactly a zombie, but it does give you that hint. It's, oh, zombie-ish. So in there, these little boxes here, where's my, there we go. In these boxes here, I'm going to put zombies. A zombie here, a zombie here, and a zombie there. But... They're going to run away if I leave them this way, so. So I should be able to push them over there and they'll stay in this box there. And shouldn't be able to jump out because of that. Oh, dang it. Well, we can test that out. Oh, well, I can jump out. I don't know if they can jump out. I'm going to have to test that out. Now I'm hoping they won't be able to jump out. If it does end up that they are jumpable, I could probably leave this in here and then just put something like that there. Because I think that would stop them from figuring a way out. Let's just put like this. Like that. Okay, so far, so good. Any other torches? I sometimes miss torches because they're torches. So I think I've got all the torches out of there. And then here, I'm going to put that, that. And I'll probably come back and put water in these. Oh, good. There. Just to keep any Snoopy people from wandering back there. How did I end up missing five? So aside from my uh, the zombies and stuff, I've got everything interior done, I believe. So then I just need to move on to the exterior. Because I can't think of anything else. Yeah, I don't want to overdo it. I, I could just overdo it and just slap stuff everywhere. But I'm going to show restraint and just leave it as it is. I think it is. It looks good. It's not over the top, not over, you know, I could be hanging banners from all this kind of stuff and putting things everywhere. But a little bit of restraint goes a long way, I think. So sometimes you just got to know when to when to stop okay so now I want to work on a cover because I'm tired of getting the snow because it's just a pain there and unless I put like 50 different torches down it's still going to start showing up so so let's see, I believe I should be able to, right. yeah, that's perfect. So I just need a little bit of a porch, it goes all the way out here. That 
that should be far enough. And then we can do the same thing here. And I still have the underground to do, the catacombs, which I hadn't initially uh, planned out. So I have no plans for that. I, I just have that empty space under there. So that's going to be a, kind of a wing in it. A wing and a prayer one. But it does make sense to have catacombs under something like this. And I've got to design that mausoleum to sit in the corner over there, but I want to make it not look out of place. Like I just threw the mausoleum in there because I just, you know, needed it. <laughs> I mean, that's what, that's, you know, what's going on, but... I don't want it to look like that. So I want it to look like it's supposed to be here. So maybe, oh, yeah, I'll have to think about that. Maybe instead of just one big building, I have a big building and like three smaller buildings around it. Something like that. Oh, invisible scaffolding. This should work for the awning. And I think I'm still going to go and just put mossy carpet on everything. And then none of this white will be here. It'll all be green, which is what I need. Now I've not got up and checked up there to see if I've missed any spots. That'll do two things too. It'll tell me, you know, if I've got snow on it, but it'll also, those will be spawnable places, so I don't have to, I may have to light those up. Because the last thing you want is a creeper dropping on your head. Let's see if this, oh, there's two there, okay. This is going to work out just right. I don't have to worry about any snow shown on this. We have that, and then let's see, I've got... I like using the mixed wall. Gives a little extra texture there. And we would have one here. to go like there. That's more impressive. Yeah, nice big entryway going into the church. And then I just need... Let's take some of these and where are they at? Oh, there they are. Lanterns. Maybe here, like 
here. Here and there. Should I put a banner there? Let's see. Walk in here. No, I think that's another case of uh, you can always. Overkill. Another, another case of the overkill. You always want to put a little extra here, a little extra there, but I'm going to, I think leaving it just like this will be fine. Because we come on in here, and then we come into here, and then we come into here. Yeah, so in stages. Kind of starts with small, medium, and then large. I do like that effect. So just to do, at least get started on the landscaping out here. This may take me a while. Put that there. I'm gonna do normal dirt here. Because I'm thinking, not every other one, maybe every third one. Like that. So we can. Coarse dirt and then normal dirt. Eh? Is that going to be covered? Yeah. So I want to make sure the coarse dirt gets covered up. And the normal dirt is going to be kind of hidden like this. That way I don't get any snow on it. So, so really I'm just going to do real dirt. Real dirt as far as the coarse dirt. I guess dirt, just dirt dirt. So we fill this in as so. And then green it up. And then we'll have a nice green area all through here. I probably should lay out those buildings over there before I lay this all down because it doesn't make sense to put all the dirt and you know moss carpet down and then have to pull it back up. So that gives you a good idea what it's going to look like. I think that's actually going to look really good if it's all green with just a few buildings here and there. Okay, hopefully I've got enough dirt. If not, I will have to go dirt mining. Or I guess run back to spawn or something. I think I got like chests and chests full of it and spawn. This is how this whole area is going to look. And I think that it's actually going to look pretty good. So my mausoleum entrance, this is goes to the underground, is going to be right here. So it's going to be like a pseudo building. I guess it's not a pseudo building. It's an actual building. It's, but all it houses is stairs going down. So I've got stairs here. They're going to be too wide. So like that. So I'm not quite sure where they'll end. I may just leave them all the way like here.
here we'll just dig all this out. And these will be stairs going up and down. I guess I do have to dig it out like that. I think I'm almost all the way down there now. There we go. I have this big underground place. So I guess I'll, I'll have to go down probably to this level. Fill in all this. There's a lot of filling I'm doing. Oh, uh, Enderman. Did he just fall in a hole? I guess I can clear this out later. I mean, today is not build the underground catacombs. I just wanted to give you an idea of what it's going to look like, or at least where we're going to go. Which takes us to this building, so I'm going to do one, two, three, four. So that'll be the entrance into the building. do that for like a front porch there let's do there and here Okay, that's starting to look okay. There. Oh, I. Oh, that's too high. Oh, come on. They're too short. Jumping and jumping, and I can't get up there. There. All four. <laughs> One little wall. So then we'll go here. We'll do that. That. Just need to give it some extra texture. And then here, and then let's see, let's do, holy cow, okay. Like that, and then, there trying to make it like posing but not overwhelming and then here oh yes they're simulating like columns more of a Greek a Greek um, type of look or architecture
That looks good. That looks good, I think. I guess I can pop. Pop that out like that. And this one here. There. There, did I, no, I didn't, didn't run the wall out this way. Maybe I should have. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt to just do that. Do I not have any cobble? Oh, there we go. Now I need to figure out the roof, which is not complicated, but I need to make sure it stays in a specific style. So, which means I think I need, it's going to be peaked. So it's going to peek off this, but I'm going to need to do like slabs up. Yeah, let me think about how that's going to go. Okay, so I'm going to run slabs here okay that's a good start I wonder if I need to push this out to the front some. I think I do. I think this needs to extend out over the front. Like that. And in, in the back. Okay. There, so that finishes up the roof. Pretty straightforward and basic. So now let's see, I think I just need to fill in the ends and we should have our mausoleum done. Yeah, so for the end, 
Ooh. Let's put a uh, torch down here just in case. I mean, it is a zombie church, but I don't want zombies running around. So let's see. Oh. Uh, where did I put those? Oh, they must be here. Oh, there's a andesite and cobblestone. Let's do this here. There. There. I will need to put some lights and stuff in here. I'll probably do like this. Run the wall around here just so you don't fall in. Because everything goes down this way. Maybe a couple torches here or candles. And then this will all go down straight into that area. Kind of through a tunnel. And then we'll do, you know, a bunch of catacombs down there. Um, yeah, like that. There, it doesn't need to be too lit. Just enough. And I guess that does kind of go with the uh, church there. Got that big, big look to it. And then we can always do... You know, something like this. So that'd be the doorway. Something like that. You know, I don't know why I keep putting, I keep putting things away and have to get them back out and put them away, get them back out. We put these like these little miniature crypts out here. And even these could do, do with a little bit of overhang. Uh, no, I don't like that overhang. I wonder if I do this. Yeah, something like that. That could work. Oh, it looks a little... I, I still think I don't need this. And... We'll 
do this. There, I think that's that will work. Yeah, I think that'll work. That will be so we have these got the main crypt, then we got you know, normally that would be like a, a one person, you know, little, tiny little tomb, but I'm making it uh you know I'm just doing it solid because I just want it for show. So I could put one of those there, probably not here, but maybe through here, put a couple more back here. So I think that, yeah, I think that'll be fine. So that is getting us started on this. I need to go through and fill in all this with dirt and put the uh, moss on there. And then I'll have to figure out if I'm just gonna leave this, I might just leave this a big green plain I was gonna put trees and stuff in there, but I think it actually might be more impressive if I just leave it like it is. But that does end things for today. I wanna thank you very much for uh, tuning in and watching the video. Hope you're having a great day and I'll see you later. Bye bye. <laughs>